Hey guys, so this is going to be the ultimate guide to deal with being swarmed and mobbed by players doing everything in their power that they can do to ruin your game experience intentionally or not intentionally. And so while this might sound like a very tongue-in-cheek video that might have no applicability to you or I or anyone else, I've actually really had to use all of these techniques at some point of my time playing this game over the years and with Endwalker coming up I do think that these techniques are actually going to be very important for pretty much everyone. At least one or two of these points will be applicable for even the most casual player. So the first thing is first, you need to even get into the game. And so let's say the server that you chose is being absolutely swarmed by people. So that's going to result in a massive queue. Not necessarily anymore. We have a brand new feature to visit another world which will expand likely into the ability to visit a completely different data center in patch 5.58, probably coming up in a few weeks from now. And so I start and my character exists on Gilgamesh and now I have selected the option from the UI that has now recommended me to go to Adamantois. And so there's a cooldown period on different worlds and so this is kind of how the system works. It'll just recommend a different world to you. For me, it's Adamantois, and so now I can log in, and now I'm on Adamantois instead of Gilgamesh. A second point is also server-related. Your server information is given at the very top of the user interface, and so you can either turn off the HUD element completely, or alternatively, just shut off the server alone. This can be done by going into the character configuration menu, under UI settings, and then HUD, and then display world name. If you are truly being bombarded by too many people, I would recommend use the world trans for service, change to different world, or do that off stream and make sure that you don't display the world name. That is a massive recommendation I do have to make. I'm not done yet in this panel of the user interface because I need to acknowledge that new players are being bombarded with a tremendous amount of information as is, and so a few boxes down below where we were just at is you have the option to display only debuffs or afflictions that you personally place on a target. I recommend this because sometimes it can be too much information, just information overload with like 20 to 30 different status effects, damage over time effects on the target so click that off. Fourth point is to tame the flurry of people's names everywhere and under the character configuration you can choose others and then you can then choose which names to show easily making the world more visible. I'd recommend just turning off everything from other PCs to just never or only if you target them that's another option. I'd personally go with never though just in case you accidentally click on someone and so now we need to get the minions because you'll notice they're still on the screen. So that's under character configuration, display name, and then NPC minions. Now you can easily make out NPC names or floating quest icons. Actually, before I move on, I thought for a second people might actually circumvent this with chocobos or summoner pets, maybe naming their chocobo something really disgusting. Um, because we know people like to get creative. So right now I have my chocobo out, which is called Rar, I'm a dragon out, and then my Ruby Carby summoner pet. And so Rar, I'm a dragon, the chocobo is considered a companion, and the Carby is considered a pet of the summoner. And so for other PCs, you can also turn these settings off to never as well, which will hide theirs. Again, I'm not hiding my own, but I want to hide other people's. Now is one of my favorite settings, which is to be sure, I think that they are off by default other than whisper messages, but in case I am wrong, please change the setting. Go to character configuration, log window settings, then notification sounds, and make sure that only slash tell is on. That's the only one that you actually want. Although in a later point I'm gonna make is that you might even want this off. Other things like emotes being on might allow you to get spammed by notifications, which can be extremely uh, overwhelming, especially because you're getting that ping notification over and over again. So definitely make sure that that is off. Next up is to reduce other players' visual effects, like Holy Spam from White Mages is very iconic in this game. And while it is a very funny meme that I personally do enjoy, it can be extremely overwhelming, especially to new players that are surrounded by White Mages spamming Holy. And so this setting is under character configuration, control settings, and then character. Scroll down to battle effects and then turn them off for party and then show others to like show none. Basically turn them all off other than for yourself. I still like my visual effects, of course. Now comes up actually one of the most important things for any player is you might have a very hard time clicking items when people swarm that particular quest NPC, retainer bell, whatever. The easiest way to do this is to hold down the X key and then click things, like say a retainer bill and limbs of Laminza. This is also going to work extremely well for quest NPCs because if anyone remembers things like Stormblood's Rabon Savage, then you know that you can get within a mile of him without having a ton of people there, and it's basically impossible to click the NPC. It, I mean, yeah, you could turn around your camera, but it's it's it makes things very frustrating. So make sure that you have 
in your settings, NPCs slash objects and signs still active since those are your primary concerns to actually still press. So hold X, press. Next point is being spammed with friend requests and free company invites. And I'm actually going to add something that is very important for especially anyone interested in housing. This is something I've said a thousand times on this channel, which is infuriating trade request spam, which will literally like even rip you out of like teleport. That is something that it was notorious for was like, oh, haha, ha, I'm trolling someone. They're trying to teleport away. I'm just going to send a, a trade request and then stop their teleport. And so I can't find a setting to automatically decline these. I did look, I did ask around, that apparently still doesn't exist, unfortunately. That's something I personally would love to see. But while I realize this isn't going to be a fully satisfying um, option to give you, it is going to be the slash busy command. You can just type in slash busy into your text chat, and then it'll give you like a little like icon that's red beside your character's name. That means that you're in the busy status. And so what this is going to do is it's going to make it so that all tells, all friend requests, all trade requests, and all the rest is like gone. You can't have that interact with you in any way. You can still use other channels like Link Shells, Free Company, Say, Shout, Yell Chats, or any of the others. So don't worry about being completely isolated, but what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that people can't like bombard you with tells, friend requests, trade requests, the rest. Um, honestly, I have even literally made a macro of this command that I have recommended previously on this channel a lot, and this is actually essential for housing, and so the macro is on the screen right now. Just drag that macro onto your hotbars and click it on every time that you log on. Definitely recommend this. But the next thing to do is to prune the chat window because you can get spammed up extremely insanely fast. My strong recommendation is to look into making link shells and joining free companies to communicate with friends or party members if you're being overwhelmed in the chat, and generally avoid the public channels. I will do a video on link shells soon after this to help pe get people started with that, but um, super useful system, can't recommend it enough. But what you should do is you open up the chat log settings using the gear icon and then under log filters you can choose a particular tab. You can also hit the plus icon beside the gear icon to make a new custom tab alternatively if you're in like streamer mode. You can name that if you want. Uh, but once you select a tab and unselect basically everything that isn't like free company, link shell, or core information related, and especially stay away from emotes, actually those can absolutely annihilate your chat. I just whipped through the settings in the footage on what I'm personally recommending to include. This should clean up the chat from unnecessary spam very quickly. Next up is whisper spam or slash tell is what we call it in 14, which can be extremely frustrating to deal with and my solution comes in two forms. So first up is you can essentially remove the slash tell feature from both your auditory notifications and then explicitly from your chat settings like the last point. And then the second up is the slash busy feature that I recommended earlier. Now we're on point 11, which is my final point of this video, which is blacklisting. And this is our version of blocking. Reality is, though, that if you're being overwhelmed by an insane number of people, that this would be massively ineffective and an infuriating waste of your time to click through blacklist, click through blacklist. No one really wants to do that. And so this is why I also simply recommended the ways to completely block out everything in this video. But I will mention this here. So you just click a person's name, add them to blacklist, and then you can also always check how big your blacklist is by going to social, hitting the O key, and then the blacklist tab. Thankfully, mine is empty because I've been very fortunate, but I know a lot of people have not been so fortunate. So yeah, thanks it weird, this is an option for you. Anyhow, that really concludes this video, and I'm pretty sure that I've covered all the bases here. Fingers crossed, I might need to do a follow-up video if I'm wrong, and I really hope that this guide helps everyone out with ways to defend yourself from potential silliness, or rather, pretty active, ridiculous levels of silliness. Anyhow, take care and be well.